It's a beautiful day outside here in San Diego and I got something special prepared for you. Now, if you're someone who is looking for an easy way to create smooth looking hyperlapse, the best method would be to use a gimbal. What's great about using the DJI gimbal is that you can download the DJI Mimo app to extend the gimbal's functionality, such as smart tracking. This feature becomes very useful for shooting hyperlapses as it tracks and keeps the subject in the center of the frame, which usually takes practice when done handheld. So in this video, guys, I will be showing you how you can shoot a hyperlapse with the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the DJI OM5 gimbal so that you can create a smooth and amazing looking footage for your travel videos. If you stick till the end, I will also show you how you can edit the footage in LumaFusion to achieve a realistic motion blur effect that sells the hyperlapse. For those who don't know me, Bennett Grazer here with SmartphoneFilmmaking.com, helping you achieve a cinematic quality video from your smartphone. Smartphone. And today we're going over how you can shoot and edit a hyperlapse with the iPhone 13 Pro Max using the DJI OM5. If you're using a different iPhone or DJI gimbal model, that shouldn't be an issue as the process will be pretty much the same. Now let's first go over the camera setup. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max mounted on the gimbal. Make sure your iPhone is balanced correctly, meaning that the weight is evenly distributed. Otherwise your gimbal will use up more battery and won't perform properly. Your gimbal should be able to follow your hand movement smoothly. It should look something like this. Also guys, don't use a case, especially with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It just adds more weight. Then make sure to download the DJI Mimo app and enable Bluetooth on your iPhone so that you can connect it with the app. Now, once you have that set up, let's go over the camera settings. So first open up the DJI Mimo app, then in the shooting mode, select hyperlapse. Make sure to select the highest resolution possible, which is 1080p and will be the final output of the video, which is good enough for your social media post. If you want to shoot in a higher resolution like 4K, there are other options out there but will require a little bit more work in the editing process. Now, I wanted to make this tutorial as easy as possible for you so that you can get started with shooting a hyperlapse right away. If you're looking for other options for achieving a hyperlapse, make sure to check out this video up here somewhere to find out more. Now, as for the speed, I find the sweet spot would be times 10. If you're shooting a very long hyperlapse, you might want to speed up your video 30 times, but you can also speed up your video in the edit. Next is to make sure to lock your white balance. This is really important because you don't want color shifts to happen. Now, because it's a beautiful day outside here in San Diego, I will choose the sun preset. As for the camera mode, I will set it to auto, but if you want more control, you can use manual mode, but we won't be doing that for this tutorial. Now, before performing the hyperlapse, I make sure to lock the exposure by tap holding on the brightest part of the image you will see that the small lock appears in the corner of the yellow square. I then slide my fingers down, you will see a sun icon appearing. By doing that, I can reduce the exposure slightly as the app tends to overexpose the image a bit. Now that we have our iPhone and gimbal set up correctly, let's go over and shoot the hyperlapse. Now, before we start creating our hyperlapse, it's important that you hold the gimbal with both hands. This way you have more stability and also walk steady towards your focal point. And the focal point in this video uh, will be this tree over there. And the goal is to create a smooth hyperlapse towards that focal point. And once you have your focal point, we're going to use the smart tracking feature that comes with the DJI Nemo app. And to use it, I'm simply going to draw a box around the tree. As you can see with the smart tracking feature, it keeps the focal point centered. And once you have that, we're gonna simply hit the record button and in a constant speed, walk towards our focal point in a steady motion, just like that. And the great part is that I'm moving between these trees, which also creates more dynamic in our shot. Let's now look at the final result. And this really looks good. This is not bad at all. So we're now gonna try something more complex. This time I'm gonna use this boat over there as our focal point. And then I'm gonna turn the gimbal upside down. And then I'm gonna lock the exposure, drag down a little bit. And then I'm gonna drag a box around this boat. This way I can achieve a lower shot having the rocks as a foreground. And then I'm gonna start and hit the record button. And then I'm gonna just walk smoothly 
in a straight path. Sometimes it won't always work out, sometimes it will. Just keep testing out and see what works and try to keep your shots as interesting as possible. So let's now edit the videos and import it into Luma Fusion. We're gonna add a sort of motion blur to our hyperlapse that helps sell the effect. So like I mentioned, we're gonna edit the hyperlapse video inside LumaFusion. If you're not familiar with LumaFusion, it's a one-time payment of $30 and you get all the advanced tools in it. I personally recommend it, especially if you're on the go and need to edit longer complex videos. So let's get started. I'm first gonna open up LumaFusion and I'm gonna create a project. I'm gonna name it Hyperlapse tutorial okay and then I'm gonna press the plus button and then I'm gonna import the clip I'm gonna head over to video and this is the clip we are going to edit today and I'm gonna start off by trimming the in point so starting from here as I walk forward and the out point around here once I have that, I'm gonna press this button over here to bring it into the timeline. And as you can see, we can scrub through it and this looks really nice. Now to really sell this effect, we're gonna add a sort of motion blur to our clip. And to do that, I'm gonna double tap on it and then head over to the color and effects. And then I'm gonna click on this drop up here and then I'm gonna choose short zoom. I think this works the best. And then you can select the green dot and adjust the intensity of it. I like to keep it around four, three. Uh, might be too much, we'll see. I'm gonna play it back. Looks actually really nice. And I also think we can speed up this hyperlapse even more. So I'm gonna double press on it and then I'm gonna select the speed and reverse, and then I'm gonna increase the speed to around three times. Let's see how that looks. Awesome. Now let's do the second clip. I'm gonna import this one over here. I'm gonna trim the in point and the out point. I think around here looks good. And then I'm gonna drag it onto the timeline and we're gonna do the same thing again. Uh, I'm gonna double tap on it. I'm gonna add another motion blur, which is the short zoom. I'm gonna adjust the amount to around, I would say maybe three looks good. I'm gonna head back, play it back. This looks nice. I'm gonna again increase the speed by three times. Head back, play it back, awesome. And then I'm gonna export it, head over here, select movie, photo, everything else looks good, and then select the export button. And this is the final result we get. And the great part about editing on your phone is that you have it always with you. And like right now where the sun is uh, about to set, I can just chill here outside and do a quick edit while also, you know, enjoying the view. So yeah, that was it for the editing part. All right, folks, there you have it. That is how you can shoot and edit a hyperlapse with your iPhone 13 Pro Max using the DJI Ohm 5 and editing it in Luma Fusion. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and I will answer as soon as I can. And don't forget to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide where I reveal my top seven secrets to shooting cinematic video. And if you want to join other students in the smartphone filmmaking community, then make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is my online course where I teach other students how to produce cinematic and professional looking videos fast. Oh, and something else I almost forgot. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. And as always, crush it with your mobile videos. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.